Can skin cancer spread to the product line? I'm Dr. Bob Aklarion from Center for Advanced Parotid and Facial Nerve Surgery. Unfortunately, they can. But let's describe how this happens. First, let's talk about the lymph nodes and the immune system. Lymph nodes are part of our immune system. They are army barracks of sorts. They fill up with white blood cells, the soldiers, when there's an infection, and they mount an infection. They're also part of the lymphatic system that drains the fluid in our tissue, in our uh, body areas and survey that fluid to see if there's any sign of infection or cancers developing within it so that they can start an immune reaction. See, this is the product gland. And as the product gland is developing, it traps multiple lymph nodes within it. So normally speaking, there's multiple small lymph nodes, usually four or five small lymph nodes that are trapped within the product gland. And they, these lymph nodes are serving the product gland itself, serving the tissue around it, the muscle underneath it, the skin, the fat, and everything in the local area. So all of the tissue around here is being surveyed by these lymph nodes. And so if there is a skin cancer somewhere around here, that skin cancer can at some point spread to those lymph nodes, right? And when the skin cancer spreads to the lymph nodes, you can see enlargement of the particular lymph node or multiple lymph nodes that are in charge of that area where the skin cancer is developing. Now, does it happen initially? No, fortunately not. It takes a while for skin cancers to change enough within them to allow them to spread to other parts. So when cancers develop, they don't right off the bat spread. They have to go through a variety of genetic changes that allows them to leave the skin and go to other parts. But once they do, they like traveling through the lymphatic channels because it's easier to travel through lymphatic channels and get to the lymph nodes in the surrounding area. And so the lymph nodes in the product glands serve as a basin, as an area where tumors, skin cancers in this area, right? all the way, including the product, can spread to that area. So once you see a mass in the product gland, you do a needle biopsy. If that needle biopsy shows you that this is a skin cancer, squamous cell cancer or melanoma, then you do an investigation to see if there's any primary skin cancers that you see in the skin in that area, because then that is part of your surgical strategy. You need to not only remove the skin cancer, but remove portion or all of the product gland and potentially some of the lymph nodes in the neck if you suspect that there may be spread to that area. All of that can be done at the same time in the same sitting and then if there's any kind of reconstruction for the skin or the product it can all be done also at the same time. Hopefully this is helpful. If you like this video please push the like button or the subscribe so we can make more videos for you that can be helpful. Thank you. Have a wonderful day and be well.